Hello, welcome to Chapter 12, Lesson 1. Today we're going to be talking about metric units of length. Length is the measurement of a line between two points. Millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer are all units of length. They're all part of the metric system. So a millimeter, oh goodness, really they're going to do this, is about six sheets of notebook paper. So on your ruler, it's those tiny little baby lines on the centimeter side. So in each centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. And I think I've seen two. It's about the thickness of like a dime. So if you got a dime out, yeah, that might even be too thick. But it's very small. Okay? So, and it's, it's not saying from top to bottom. It's saying if you held your sheet of paper up, that's how thick it is. So you know those are paper is very thin. Uh, a centimeter is about the length of a ladybug, okay, or the width of your pinky. So like if you went from one side of your the outside of your hand to the inside of your pinky, that'd be about a centimeter. A meter is about the height of a chair. Okay, so your dining room table chair is about a meter high, and then a kilometer is about six blocks. Okay, so if you're walking around your block, that you'd get four, so you'd have to walk a little bit farther to get one kilometer. Okay, so let's, let's get started. So Doug is growing carrots in his garden. He pulled out a carrot for lunch. Measure the carrot to the nearest centimeter. So our first thing is always aligning the zero with the edge, with the edge of what you're measuring. Not the edge of the not the edge of the ruler, because that's not always going to be where zero starts. Then if I'm looking up here, I notice it's is it close to 12 or is it close to 13? Because it's between 12 and 13, right? Um, obviously closer to the 12. So we're going to say that this carrot is 12 centimeters long. The carrot is closer to 12 mark than the 11 centimeter mark. Well, I'd say it'd be between 12 and 13. Why are they comparing it to 11? Who knows? But anyways, the carrot is almost 12 centimeters. I think, oh gosh, what are they doing here? I think that they might be measuring this part. The carrot itself and not the extra stem, but then why did they put this line here? Who knows what this book is doing? Anyways, yeah, I'd still say it's closer to 12 centimeters. Before measuring the length of an object, always estimate to decide what, which unit of measure is better to use. Yeah, I could see this, right? So like if I'm trying to measure something that's like a book, I wouldn't use a meter stick because a meter stick is really long. You know those big long ruler type things that we have at school? Uh, some of them are yards, yard sticks, and so, but yards and meters are really close to being the same thing. If we were in class, I'd get them out and show you, but we're not. So, it's, I wouldn't pull that out to measure something that's small, right? So we have to kind of first decide what's the best unit of measurement. So choose the best unit of measurement for the length of the student's desk. I'd probably measure it in centimeters, right? So 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. I would say definitely not five centimeters. That'd be five pinkies. Nope, that's not enough. Five millimeters, is it about the width of 30 pieces of paper? Or the thickness of 30 pieces of paper? No. Nope. Um, 50 centimeters, yeah, I'd go with that. Because 50 millimeters are equal to five centimeters and we already crossed out five centimeters, so we know it's not gonna be that either. So about, if you took your pinky and laid it next to each other, about 50 that, of them would be the length of your desk. Um, they're too small, so the answer is 50 centimeters, or choice C. All right, so we need to measure this grasshopper to the nearest centimeter. Now, if you had your ruler, it'd probably be a lot easier to line up than on a computer here, so bear with me. So remember, don't line it up to the end, go to the zero mark. Okay, and then lay it on there. <clears throat> so it's between two and three. So if we ask ourselves, is it closer to two or is it closer to three? 
I would say it's probably closer to three. Let me do that a little better. I would say it's relatively closer to three, so we're gonna go with three centimeters. Okay, if we started cutting these into millimeters, so remember 10 little millimeter lines can fit between zero and one. So millimeters are absolutely tiny. All right, next one, choose the best estimate for the length of the kayak. Six centimeters, or kayaks, oops. I think they mean in real life. Yeah, it must be real life, okay, good. Um, so six centimeters, are kayaks usually this big? No. Um, two meters, two lengths of a chair. Uh, that might be a little small, I would say. Six lengths of a chair, yep going with that because kayaks are not 12 city blocks long that'd be a little something right that would be a little little long so I'm going with six meters okay or six chairs top, stacked on top of each other I mean some kayaks are shorter some are longer but I feel like two chairs wouldn't fit an actual human being maybe a kid but not a not an adult Okay, so we're supposed to estimate and then measure each object to the nearest centimeter. So in looking at my centimeter gauge down here, I'd guess it's, I would guess eight centimeters would be my guess. Okay, I would guess this would be about two centimeters, this little ticket here. And this looks like about three centimeters. Now let's get our ruler out and measure. So line up the zero. Look at that. Man, am I good or what? Eight centimeters. Nice. Okay, let's bring it down here. Ooh, not good on this one. Uh, this one we get three centimeters. I mean, that was close, but a little off there. And lastly, this must be bigger than three then. Five. Yikes. That was a little off on that one. Now notice, am I getting, am I changing, am I erasing my guesses? No, don't erase them. You're just guessing, right? So we don't need to worry about it. If you're right, great. If you're off, who cares? We're just trying to get better. You're practicing, right? I mean, look at me. I teach this stuff and I couldn't get it even closer. I was two centimeters away from this little guy. So it's not a big deal. We're getting better at it. We're trying to keep practicing, so don't worry at all. All right, choose the length of our best, okay. Choose the best estimate for each length. The length of a river, super long, uh, definitely 27 kilometers, right? Kilometers are the longest ones, we're six city blocks about. Um, so definitely rivers are long. Length of a sunflower seed. So not a sunflower, a little sunflower seed. 90 centimeters, no. 90 millimeters, no. I would say, God, how small are they? Little less than a centimeter? Well, they're definitely not nine centimeters, so nine millimeters. So 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. So nine millimeters would be just a little less than the, yeah, I guess I could see that, than the width of your pinky. Draw a conclusion. Sonia is standing 20 centimeters from the door. Bryce is standing 20 meters from the door. Who is standing farther from the door? Bryce. Because 100, I haven't told you this yet, but 100 centimeters equals one meter. So Bryce is standing a lot farther away from the door. Carly says she walks 300 millimeters to school each day. <laughs> Interesting. Is this reasonable? So, no. <laughs> so, there's 10, so this would be like 30 centimeters. So, not even the length of a chair. <laughs> 30 centimeters is about how long how many centimeters you have on your ruler, I believe, so. <laughs> no. She walks more 
than one ruler length. to school. I would say uh, 300 meters would maybe be what she was talking about. That's kind of funny. I mean, it seems like a lot because you're saying 300 millimeters, but like that's the length of our ruler. <laughs> All right. At his aunt's farm, Benjamin sees a horse and estimates that it is about two centimeters long. <laughs> two, a horse. Are your horses two widths of your pinky long? No way. Um, explain two centimeters is the width of two pinkies. Pinkies? Pinkies. P I N K I E S. I'm going with the width of two pinkies. Horses are large animals. Definitely bigger than two ladybugs. Um, okay. List the metric system units for measuring length in order from greatest to least. Okay, so kilometer is for biggest. Then we have the meter. Then we have the centimeter, and the smallest baby one is the millimeter. Which is the best unit for measuring the length of an eyelash? I'm going millimeter. I mean, you could maybe have really long eyelashes and say centimeters, but I think millimeters would give you a bit more precise estimate of the length of your eyelash. So that's all that I have for you today. Thanks for watching to the very end. Go you, you're awesome. We'll see you tomorrow.